Hello lovelies, welcome to another episode of Losing Side of the Shore. Today is Question Tuesday, the day where I answer real questions from real nerd fighters. And with AFC Wimbledon's recent victory that I mentioned in this video, we're heading to the playoff finals in Wembley, so I asked you guys if you had any football related questions. And you didn't disappoint. So let's start with Dory who asks, what's the offside rule? So a player's offside if he's nearer to his opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, here's a graphic that hopefully is better. I don't know. It's a really confusing rule. If you don't understand it, don't feel bad. So Andrew asks, why is the name of the sport so uninventive? Because it sounds dumb to say I'm going to go watch my team play the kick that round thing around that green thing and into that rectangle thing. As a follow-up, Andrew also asked, why is it called soccer in some countries? So despite what every British person wants to tell you, the name soccer was actually invented in Britain about 200 years ago. It was a nickname for the term association football and it was a way they differentiated between rugby and other football codes. Sven asks, song lyrics please? So I made an entire video explaining the lyrics to the favourite songs and chants of AFC Wimbledon, so go check that out. Sven also asked, are we allowed to use throwing knives? No. No, we're not. And Sven, you're not allowed to ask questions anymore. Rafaela asked, how many AFC Wimbledon players would it take to throw Akin Fenwa up in the air after he kicks a last minute goal? Well, I loved this question so much that I asked players and staff from AFC Wimbledon what their answers were to this question. And if you want to see what they had to say, just click on anywhere here and I'll put a link somewhere. Julia wants to know, can a goalkeeper score? Yes, they can. According to the rules, as soon as the goalkeeper lets go of that ball and it crosses the line into the next goal, it doesn't matter where it came from. So technically, a goalkeeper could absolutely just bomb it the length of the field straight into the goal and score. So I'm not trying to tell Neil Ardley how to do his job, but like, this might be a good strategy. Ruse, how good's your kick? Jennifer asked me, what's with the extra time added after each half? Well, Jennifer, it's called stoppage time and it's added to the 90 minutes to make up for any lost time during the game due to substitutions, injuries, or teams deliberately holding up play. Charlotte asks, how do football? Well, um, ball, foot, goal, and apparently there's some other stuff in there. And lastly, I asked you guys a question. Who the F is Hank? Hank is a slang term for the neighborhood kid who rings your doorbell and runs away. Hank is the name given to a newly discovered tree frog species found in the Galapagos. Hank is a village in Kamja Parish, Tartu County in eastern Estonia. Hank refers to a unit of yarn or twine that is in a coiled form. Hank, otherwise known as humans against naughty koalas, are the leading authority in koala discipline. They are often the last resort for zoos struggling with misbehaving koalas. Hank is an organic source of protein. Hank is an ancient method of preserving green tea, first and only used by the Chinese 4,000 years ago. Hank is a unit of measurement of fruitless revision. A hank is 23 minutes of forgetful physics reading, or 43 minutes of maths past paper questions to suddenly discover your calculators in the wrong mode. And finally, hank is the supporter of Stevenage. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And for a greater abundance of Sophie, you can find me on my social medias. Now, this video is one of many that I've done about AFC Wilwoden in the last couple of weeks. So if you've missed any of those, here they all are. As mentioned earlier in the video, I also did a question Tuesday with the AFC Wimbledon players and staff. So please head over and check that one out. I had so much fun making it. Sorry for the audio quality. It was filmed at a party. Hopefully I will see a lot of you guys next week at Wembley. If not, watch this space for my next video. Bye.